Hi everyone, I'm Akash, co-founder and CEO of Vellum. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn more about what we do. We're the core infrastructure for building AI applications. Building AI applications is unlike traditional software and it requires purpose-built tooling. Let me explain why. So here in this humorous image, you see an engineer and a product manager building an AI product in the rapidly evolving quicksand of the AI landscape. New models keep coming out, new prompting techniques come out. The same model provides different results over time. The same prompt when applied to a different model gives you different results. It's crazy. It's uh, so confusing for most engineers and product managers out there. And this is unlike traditional software. Traditional software is super deterministic. Think I'm going to Rippling and asking for my payroll data. It doesn't tell me to go find the closest pharmacy. Uh, it's predictable, it's reliable, but AI is not like that. And we, Vellum, exist to provide the rock solid platform of concrete to make the lives of product and engineering teams easier when building production AI applications. What does that look like? Um, we think a tight feedback loop is needed for great AI development. I'll spend a minute on this slide, but then we'll quickly hop into the product. What does this tight feedback loop need? It starts with experimentation, trying out different prompts, models, retrieval techniques, orchestration logic, tool calling parameters. That defines the logic of your AI agent or the AI application. The experimentation layer should be coupled tightly with an evaluation suite where you can evaluate each individual uh, node or the whole system end to end across a number of test cases and metrics. Uh, this is usually an iterative loop because once a test case fails, you would want to go back and modify the logic of the application until it clears all of the test cases. Once the application is ready, it goes into a staging or production environment with proper release management using deployments. And finally, uh, the live data going into the application can be monitored and edge cases, uh, which inevitably happen in AI applications, can be identified and added back into the offline uh, eval suite. This loop, the faster we can spin it, the higher quality the application uh, becomes in production. How does that work in Vellum? Let's get into a quick example. So here we're in the workflows portion of our product. This is um, the UI component, and we also have an SDK component, which I'll get to in a second. Um, the idea here is you can define the UI or in the SDK. So while we, let's put this aside, and while we run this, this is a get weather function calling chatbot. So I'm just gonna ask like, what's the weather in San Francisco? And uh, as it's running, I'll show you what it does. So the idea behind the orchestration layer is you can, as a developer, you can assemble various nodes um, in any flexible way you want. The most notable nodes are prompt node, search node to retrieve context from our managed vector database, code execution node to run arbitrary Python or TypeScript, um, map node to iterate over JSON objects of arbitrary length, have guardrails for inline evaluations, composability via sub workflows. But the execution layer obviously enables serial execution, but it has parallel execution, tool calling, branching, looping, all the components needed for more advanced agentic applications. The UI is usually great for visualization because you can see the inputs and outputs at each step. Um, and also for non-technical stakeholders who can directly modify the logic of each of these nodes in the UI. SDK is better suited for engineers who want to have more flexibility that code provides. So let's walk through this example. Here we started with the input on what's the weather in San Francisco. I'm going to scrub through the execution as it happened. So it starts with a function call. This is a prompt node which says that it's an expert meteorologist and says that the temperature should be in Fahrenheit. Uh, with a tool call defined called get current weather, tools can be defined in the UI or using JSON or YAML files. So it starts with that user message input and the output is a function call. As we continue on the execution, it goes down the function calling branch and it actually makes a function call. Uh, this is calling, uh, using a code execution node, this is calling Google Maps to get the lat long for San Francisco and then open weather to get the weather for that lat long. Then the data is returned back. And then as the execution proceeds, you can see that uh, there's a memory management node to accumulate short term memory. And finally, the response loops back into the original prompt node to give a human readable response. Well, uh, this is clearly wrong because 288.7 would be really hot, so that uh, reinforces the need for iterative development in modifying the prompts. Um, here, once the human readable answer comes back, this is exited and gives a human uh, gives the final output for this application. Now that the logic is built, it needs to be evaluated against a number of test cases. I'm going to hop over to a different sandbox which has evaluation set up. So here, the idea of the evaluation suite is you can make each row here is a different test case. It's uh, a different set of input values that will be sent into the workflow to run evaluations. And each column is a metric. Metrics can be applied to individual nodes or the whole system end to end. The goal here is to make it incredibly clear for users on uh, which test cases are passing, which test cases are failing. For the test cases that are failing, 
you can drill in and see what exactly happened with that execution and where the failure uh, exactly happened. So you can see there might be some issue over here. We take that test case and add it back into the sandbox, iterate on the logic either in the UI or in SDK, and continue on with the execution uh, and like continue on with the development until all test cases pass. Our evaluation suite also has an aggregate view where you can compare two different versions of, an, of a workflow. Uh, it could be different prompts, it could be different orchestration logic or retrieval logic. But in aggregate, in aggregate across all these metrics, you can see which workflow is doing better than the other and if, like where the improvements and regressions are. Once you have this application that clears all of your test cases, we enter the deployment and monitoring phase of the loop. That's where we go into the deployments layer. The deployments layer is um, an endpoint where you can make requests to the uh, to this application that's been built, or you can directly execute the SDK code that's uh, defined over here. The SDK code, by the way, has a CLI, like a command line interface, where you can pull down the UI representation into code, modify in code, push from UI into code to have a two-way sync and make edits wherever you feel uh, comfortable. In the deployments layer, all executions that are made against this deployment are tracked in the executions log. And you can attach uh, user feedback and online metrics on your uh, execution data. Each edge case that shows up in production, uh, you can again drill into the familiar graph view or the stack trace view. Here's a graph view, this is the live execution that happened. And in case an edge case showed up, you can see like where exactly this happened. Scrubber view is super helpful in case there are looping applications because you want to see what the agent was doing in each turn of the interaction. And the edge case can then be added back into your test suite for offline testing or the scenario in your sandbox for making changes to the logic. This is what I mean by closing the feedback loop between monitoring and experimentation and evaluation. And lastly, we have some uh, charts which show you the quality of the application over time, number, like total cost, latency, number of executions, number of errors. And we also have a release management system where you can um, make changes to the application in the UI while still having sufficient control and not having to make code changes. That's a quick overview of the loop we enable. Uh, we've seen customers build applications like agents, chatbots, data extraction pipelines, content generation, rack pipeline summarization, um, like marketing research agents. The, there's no limit to the types of applications. And this is an industry agnostic uh, tool as well. Uh, thank you so much and let me know if you have any questions.